The member from Newmarket, Aurora. Thank you, Speaker. My, uh, my question is to the Minister of Health. Speaker, at 2.30 this past Wednesday afternoon, a call was placed to Orange from the St. Francis Memorial Hospital in Barry's Bay requesting an emergency air ambulance transfer to the Queensway Carlton Hospital. One hour later, Orange Dispatch advised that the air ambulance was not available because it was undergoing Order. The hospital made arrangements to transfer the patient by local land ambulance. But Orange insisted that the patient is now theirs and must be transferred by Orange Land Ambulance. More confusion, more delay. The land ambulance arrives and eventually so does the helicopter. Now in kidney failure, the patient was flown to the Ottawa General Hospital Question. where she died on Friday morning. Did Orange make the minister aware of this tragic incident? And if so, can she tell us why, yet once again, Thank you. Orange was unable to respond? Thank you. Minister of Health. Um, speaker, uh, let me first express my condolences to the family. Um, I can tell you that we take patient safety extremely seriously. The new leadership at Orange Speaker, the new board are... There were people on this side asking for shushing and quiet when the question was being posed. I'm asking for shushing and quiet when it's being answered. Minister. Uh, patient safety is the highest priority of the new leadership at Orange Speaker, and we do take every incident very seriously. Every incident is investigated, Speaker, and I can assure the member opposite that this, this incident will be investigated as well. There is a process that, uh, uh, that the Ministry goes through, that Orange goes through, and if he so chooses, the coroner goes through Order. to determine are there any lessons Answer. that can be learned, and if so, we must implement them. Speaker. Two supplementary. Apparently the Minister was not aware, and apparently Orange isn't keeping her abreast of these incidents. Speaker, the inability to respond by Orange is emerging as a systemic issue. Last Order. week, the new Orange CEO was quoted as saying that it's unrealistic to expect 24-hour emergency service, that it's just too expensive. Is that the best that we can expect from the minister's new management team, from her new board of directors, from the new performance agreement, and from the new legislation that the minister has tabled here? I asked the minister this. If patient safety cannot be her priority, and if she cannot have Orange requesting these incidents to her, then quite frankly, we have a serious problem here. And I ask the minister Thank to you. tell us again, was she aware of this? Thank you. What <laughs> minister of Health. Um, Speaker, I would caution the member opposite from jumping to any conclusions about any particular incident. There are people who are qua highly qualified to do the research, to get the facts, to, to make determinations, Speaker. I can assure you that the people at Orange, the frontline staff who every day come to work to save lives, are, are the most loyal, responsible, and highly skilled individuals. We in Ontario should be enormously grateful for the people at Orange Speaker. The drive-by speakers Order. and ever opposite, I think, are not, are not helpful. I would urge the member opposite, if he really wants to be part of the solution, to support Bill 50 and stop Answer. blocking passage of Bill 50. Thank you. Oh. Question. We have three hearing days left. We know that Dr. Mazza himself is refusing to come at this point. It looks as though if we don't get the extension, we may never hear from Dr. Mazza and other key witnesses that we must hear from. I would like to know from the government house leader, will he commit today to give the Public Accounts Committee the additional request to sit Question. throughout the break and to sit throughout the summer so that we can, in fact, get to the bottom of this.
Mr. Speaker, uh, there's no we will, uh, anymore, we will uh, consider all requests to come forward, and the issue of, Mr. of Dr. Maz is, of course, up to the committee. But, Mr. Speaker, I would like to congratulate the Public Accounts Committee on the good work they do. They're Kelly going to be Mitchell holding a number of uh, more uh, hearings. In Not fact, sure. uh, an, a lot of information has come out, uh, Mr. Speaker, Tony and that will be discussed by the committee. Uh, and if the member wants to conduct hearings on the floor of the House, perhaps he'd like to know about a $7,000 invoice from Kelly Mitchell, a top Tory insider, expense to prepare a strategy for engaging the PC party. Mr. Speaker, I have a copy of it, and step one in the strategy is Answer. called Make Peace with Frank, please. Oh. And let me, let me uh, quote Mr. Speaker. Speaker, it will be important. Order.